Hi there, I'm Ali, and welcome to my channel. Today I am very excited about these IKEA hacks because they're a little bit fun, they're a little bit different, and they just turned out so cute. I tried to get really, really creative with these ones and I came up with some really fun ideas, kind of something that maybe you would see at like Urban Outfitters. That's kind of the vibe that I'm getting from these pieces. So I have four really great projects in store for you today. So let's get into that first DIY. This first project is so fun, starting with the Frykin basket set and a Scrawlin lamp base. And we're gonna be turning this into a really fun boho lamp. So first I disconnected all of the baskets so that we're only using the larger one. Then using my scissors, I am going to snip around on these little parts that can join the seagrass and the weaving until I get a little opening in the bottom here. And that's because I wanna be able to run the plug and the cord through the back of this lamp like so, and then place the lamp base inside the basket. Next up, we're gonna need to take the lid and put a hole on the top of it so that it can fit snugly around that lamp base neck. So I repeated the same steps like I did with the bottom of the basket where I just snipped off the little weaving pieces and then cut out the additional seagrass so that I had that opening. Then you simply have to put the lid on top and then I also used a little hot glue to secure it so that lid is not coming off and staying in place. And finally, I decided to add an Edison bulb light bulb, a very large one. Now, Ikea sells these very inexpensively, but they were sold out. So I used one that I picked up from the hardware store. And I just love this little accent lamp. It reminds me of something that you would totally find at Urban Outfitters. using this pack of cork trivets and transforming them into a really cool and unique jewelry organizer. And the first thing I did was mark and then use my utility blade to cut one of the trivets down the center. Then I brought in this crescent moon pattern that I quickly just cut out on some scrap paper, traced it onto the halves, and then used my blade to cut it out. Now taking one of the full circles and my two little crescent moons, I used a popsicle stick and hot glue to secure them together in the back to create this really cool moon phase shape. To make this hangable, I also took a piece of twine and used some hot glue to attach it to the back of the trivet. And since I didn't like the cork as is, I just painted the entire thing with some black acrylic paint. I thought this would be a really cool feature would be to add some lighting in the background. I've been seeing different DIYs and wall decor pieces that are backlit like this. So I had some battery operated fairy lights in my craft stash and I figured this would work perfectly fine. And I decided to use electrical tape to hold this down though. That's not really the best bond tape. I just thought maybe that would be the safer tape to use, but I also think you could use duct tape. I just could not find mine. I have no idea where it went. Once I had the lights taped down as the best that I could get them, I then used some of these little hooks that I picked up from the hardware store and screwed them into the bottoms of each of the moon shapes. I did two on each of the crescent moons and four on the bottom of the larger moon to turn this into a really fun jewelry holder. And I love this because earrings can also be pressed into the cork so that you can organize both your necklaces and your earrings. If you made a 
to this point in the video and you are having fun with these IKEA hacks, give it a like. That lets me know that you guys are enjoying this and want to see more IKEA hack DIYs in the future. And while you are there, leave a comment with your favorite blue colored emoji since IKEA's color is blue. That way I know that you're still watching here at this point in the video and it'll be kind of like a little inside joke for everybody who has made it to here. Anyways, let's get back to the next DIY. Next up, let's turn an IKEA Sort so rug into a very on-trend lumbar pillow. The first thing I did was cut off the trim ends and I cut them off at about three inches from that kind of stitch or seam line that you see on the edge of the rug. That's because I want this fringe to actually be in the center of this pillow. Once I cut out those pieces, I then pin them together and then sewed up to create a nice seam down the middle of these fringed pieces. I then took the remainder of the rug and cut it in half. Now I wanted to make this into an envelope style pillow just because I like to change out my pillow covers so I cut the top piece like this not quite in half one side is actually bigger than the other that's just to allow for a hem so that this pillow doesn't fall apart so what I did was pin the shorter side that I cut off from the rug to the hemmed piece of the fringe and then on the larger piece I folded over the edge and pinned that down so that that could be hemmed And I just took that to my machine and sewed it up. And just a tip when working with this, you do want to make sure that you kind of loosen the tension of the machine, use a longer stitch and a strong needle. Otherwise, it is going to jam and it is going to break because this rug fabric is thick. Once I had the top pieces done, I then layered on the back piece with the good sides together and pinned that up and then sewed around all four sides. And I love the finished result that this gives, especially by moving the tasseled ends to the center. It just looks like a pillow that you'd find for way more expensive at Urban Outfitters or McGee & Co. a bonus project using the leftover cork pieces from the second project. I figure why not put them to use? So I used a foam brush to add some paint to the cork pieces and basically I've turned these into stamps to create a really cool mid-century modern Scandinavian inspired art piece which I felt was fitting since this is an Ikea hacks video. So what I did was paint the crescent moons and kind of stamp them down in a pattern like so where two were facing downward and one was and one was facing upward. I went with two different shades of blue, this navy blue color and this dusty blue color because I just thought that would tie in really nicely with the decor I have in my living room. But you could do any colors you want. This would also look really cool if you did it all in black against the white paper. Then to add in some more design to it, I used a flat brush to paint in some stripes and this taupey color at the bottom of the arches. And then used a Dollar Tree round sponge brush to add a circle at the top. And that completes this really simple art piece. You could definitely put this into an Ikea frame, but this is just a frame that I had on hand. Now, if you love Ikea hacks as much as I do and you want to see even more inspiration, well, you're in luck. I have put together a playlist where I have done a couple other Ikea hack videos. I have one for outdoors. I have a Ikea furniture flip video and also one where I tried out an Ikea children's toy to make a weaving for my wall that turned out so great. So I'll make sure I link that in the description box and on the screen right here. And that's everything I have for you in this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.